LED lighting. It's probably not the first thing that you think about when fixing up your home. But Todd, director at Connecticut Lighting Centers, is here to enlighten us on the importance of using LEDs in our homes. So Todd, LEDs, you know, everybody's heard about them. They're in a lot of people's houses, uh, but there are different types of LEDs. Uh, buyer beware. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, LED is such a big emerging market. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the one thing we tell people all the time is just be aware of what you're buying. Um, there's so many... There's so much good stuff out there, and there's so much bad stuff out there. Yeah, and it's, it's probably something that most people don't think about. You know, you go to buy a car, and you, you can see the quality, but oftentimes people don't pay attention to the quality of the lighting in their home, but it, it does make a big difference. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the two things that people go on when they're, when they're buying LED typically is wattage and lumens, mm -hmm. and there's a lot more to it than just that. You have an R lamp and a PAR lamp. Okay, really? R and PAR. R and PAR. Okay, um, keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. So, so basically, the really the only difference between these two is one, you're actually this bulb here mm -hmm. will actually provide light on your countertops. This bulb here will keep most of the light in the room and up on the ceiling. You can see the the amazing difference I think between the two. A absolutely. I mean, once you see this, you'll you'll really if you're doing a kitchen, you'd much prefer a par bulb versus an R bulb. And everybody needs a toilet paper holder on their kitchen counter, obviously. <laughs> So now that we know PAR is the way to go, we have a few lighting fixtures here at Connecticut Lighting Centers that we're going to show you at home that you can check out right here in the store. The cool thing about LED is you can get things like this. With LED fixtures now, they can design the fixture however they want and then put the LED into it. If you look up here, um, this was created after a bridge. Um, the LED is built right into this top strip and that's the whole light fixture. Prior to, to LED, we would design, they would design light fixtures around light bulbs. Todd says LEDs have revolutionized the lighting design industry and it allows you to brighten your home while cutting down on those annoying energy costs.